we're just going to place the calf curve. So I'll teach you how to throw it and where we're actually aiming. Because I'm not actually aiming for the calf muscle. Like the calf muscle is like a, a big muscle here. You know? And that's, that'll be the same as like your quad. It'll actually get like quite conditioned to get a kick. And because people are so used to the calf kick coming, um, they can condition this calf muscle quite easy. But that's not actually where we're aiming. It's actually a smaller muscle called the soleus muscle. That's the muscle that we're aiming to damage. But as a byproduct of that, there's like a nerve that runs down on the inside of the soleus. And if I get lucky, I can catch it at the top of the calf. But that's where guys get hit, hit here or, or hit here. And then they get like the drop foot where their, their foot like actually uh, happened to Jimmy Crew last weekend where the nerve dies temporarily and then their, their ankle actually loses all that. But that is not something to aim for, that's like a byproduct of attacking the solium muscle. So lower down. So how I describe throwing it, it's not like a usual low kick. So look like a usual low kick, like I'm, I'm going to drive down, boom, I'm going to drive down my, and, and chop down, and chop down like into the leg. But if I, if I do this on the, on the, on the calf, like it brings me way too close, and if he turns his shin out, like, um, there's a high percentage chance of just going to end up smashing my foot. So the way I describe it, I use two different examples. One of them, if you're any good at golf, I'm not. It's like uh, you're stuck in the sand, you get your wedge out, and you're, you're, you're chipping the ball out of the sand. Yeah? So first we're going to place it, or the other way I can describe it is like a drop kick with a rugby ball. That's like the perfect description of it. It's not like a, I wouldn't drop kick a ball like this, like drop kick it and then like boot it into the ground. I want to, I want to chip it up, I want to chip it high. So as I'm going, I just drop, step kick, yeah? So first, we just go one for one with our palm and we'll just, we'll just place it. Yeah, I'm going to actually, I'm not aiming for the side, I'm actually aiming for like the back, the back and up. So I'm not going like a normal low kick, down. Yeah, not like the usual leg kick, down. It's like I'm drop kicking a rugby ball. Boom. See that? And say that he had like, step, step kick. And it's just with this, this bottom, the very bottom, just above my ankle. Yeah? Not with my foot. Make sure when I do it, I'm not going to like drop. And lay hands on my foot. Drop. It should be like this. Yeah? One for one, ooh, and my palm will work. Ooh, you'll see me when I do it. I'll either just like naturally drift this way, as my opponent's adjusting, like I'll naturally drift this way so I can get around the back. Or if I am square, like I'll just step this foot here. Yeah, so I'll do it in one go. I'm not gonna do this, like some people will like step pivot. Then there's like, that's too slow. Step kick. Step kick. Yeah, don't overcomplicate it. Like, draw a line from this front foot. Nice step. Ooh. You got it? Don't step.